busy day, a difficult transportation day as well, thanks to Thor. But we thank you so much for joining us. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. I'm so grateful that that plane didn't go any further. Absolutely. Because that's what, the East River or Long mm -hmm. Island Sound? Well, yeah. Uh, you know, that would have been terrible. Right, and I mean, it all depends on how quickly if it got into the water. I mean, luckily that U.S. Airways plane a few uh, years ago yeah, in the yeah. Hudson, mm -hmm. everybody was able to get off, but you don't want to see if luck can strike twice. So I'm sure a lot of those people were saying, man, it could have been so much worse. Winter storm Thor is causing all kinds of problems, and it's still going strong in the east. All right, thank you so much, Maria. And, you know, we're not done with the wintry weather for parts of the at least southeast getting into the mid-Atlantic. We've got winter weather advisories up for Virginia, North Carolina, West Virginia, and mid-Atlantic states. So uh, it's still going to be an issue as we finish off our Thursday, even get into our Friday. Right now, you've got rain at Norfolk. Temperature, though, 33. So you are getting close to that freezing mark, and we do anticipate the freezing rain for you. Richmond, you are still reporting that wintry mix, but at least on the northwest side of town, it's snow. Charlottesville still has snow falling. Roanoke Rapids, Raleigh, New Bern, all in the 30s and low 40s with rain, but even those locations will see that transition to wintry mix as those temperatures drop. That precip changes over to the pink, the wintry mix. Even snow in some parts of northern North Carolina, closer to the Virginia border, but by early tomorrow morning, the overnight hours, I think most spots will wind down, but ice going to be an issue on roads. Winter storm Thor is not done yet. Yeah, now there's another target for snow, sleet, and ice tonight. It's Winter Storm Thor's last blast, and it's already been a night. Checking back in with you. Let's talk about Thor, though. Perhaps the weather, one of the causes of this, that'll be a yet to be determined, but a good first guess. This is Thor over the past 36 hours. You can see that transition from rain to snow late yesterday and yesterday afternoon across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee, then eventually West Virginia, now into parts of the Northeast and Mid Atlantic as we've gone through our Thursday. Eventually, Southeast Virginia and North Carolina will get in on it as well. Well, Lexington, Kentucky, a storm total from Thor over 17 inches. Today, 10 inches of that. That makes it the March single day snowfall number one ranking. Number two for March all time two day snowfall at that 17.1 inches. So this has been a record breaking storm for that place, Lexington and other places. Louisville over eight inches, seven and a half for Jonesboro, Arkansas, two and a half inches in Dallas, a trace for Tupelo. That sets a record there as well. And right now we've got rain coming down through parts of southeast Georgia, northern uh, Florida, also through coastal South Carolina and North Carolina into southeast Virginia. That's where we're seeing that transition from rain to snow. Places like Richmond, wintry mix reported there. But as I've said, throughout a lot of the city, especially if you're on the west or north side, it's snow that you're seeing. And we've got snow still into Delaware and southern Maryland, Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, as well as Philadelphia reporting that snow is lightning. Up. So we have seen some improvements and Philadelphia, you will see that snow come to an end by later this evening, really into tonight, Dave.